Um, yes, Ghana presently exports power to a couple of countries like um, Benin Republic, Togo, uh, Burkina Faso, and sometimes to Cote d'Ivoire. Hello, welcome to my channel once again. Well, welcome, welcome. You see, I'm laughing. I'm laughing because this video that I'm about to show you, listen, Nigerians, please. I know that it's hard for you to lower your pride. It's hard for you to lower your pride. But please, when it comes to situations like this, we are not fighting with you. It's just business and we are trying to do business. So you need a thing. Listen, I don't want to talk much. Let's go into the video. Let's watch what this man said in this interview. Let's just go there and listen to him. Let's also tell you that Ghana is actively developing its power industry to reach 100% universal energy access and maybe sell electricity to its big brother, neighbor Nigeria. Now, the head of the generation and transmission unit at the Ministry of Energy in Ghana, Hansen Moni, conveyed this during his presentation in Lagos on the second day of the Nigeria Energy Leadership Summit. Money highlighted that Ghana has already achieved a remarkable 80 to 85 percent universal energy access within its borders through robust policy formulation and implementation. Well, once again, joining me to unpack this is Aditayo Adibemile, the CEO of Power of Nigeria. Thank you, Aditayo, for joining us. But now, um, we're talking about uh, the Ghana's new uh, policy and uh, their sales plans. What can we make of this development? Can we say that Ghana uh, will be able to sell energy to Nigeria? All right. Um, what I'm going to just do. Because when I, when, I, when I read that report, the first thing I did was to try and reach out to some of my friends and colleagues that are in Ghana to try and get an overview of what Ghana's power status is. Um, maybe I should just fill out the data so that everybody can make up their mind from there. Presently, the total installed power generating capacity in Ghana is just 5,000 megawatts. And um, their daily output is about 4,000 megawatts. That's one. Um, yes, Ghana presently exports power to a couple of countries like um, Benin Republic, Togo, uh, Burkina Faso, and sometimes to Cote d'Ivoire. And the total energy that the four countries take from Ghana is roughly about 100 megawatts. So um, for the Ghana's head of uh, transmission and generation to come to Nigeria, and to say that um, they want to sell power to Nigeria is kind of preposterous and ambitious. Um, because I doubt it if they have the capacity. This is a situation where my Yoruba people will say that if you stay too long in a bad situation, all sorts of uh, bad things will also meet you on that same spot. So, um, yeah, like I said, it is preposterous for him to have said that. And it's it's a bit it's a bit ambitious. Okay, um, now that will lead me to my uh, next question, talking about how capable uh, the power sector is in Nigeria. Now we know for a fact that many areas in the country have relative twenty four hours power supply. Um, even after the two power grid collapse uh, recently, it was restored really quickly. So, uh, can we say that we want to buy more power? Um, absolutely, we need more power. I mean, there is no, there is no second guessing that we do need more power. Um, but you see, what Mr. Anson said, uh, Mr. Money actually, what he said that struck me from his comment is that Ghana has um, a plan, and they are working through that plan. Um, I'll give you an instance. Um, I understand they presently have a. 250 megawatts uh, project ongoing for solar power and for it to be fed into the grid. As we speak right now, the first phase of 50 megawatts has been completed and it's being fed into their national grid. Uh, there's another project that's ongoing which has about 20 megawatts also on the national grid. We don't have such um, landmark projects in Nigeria, unfortunately. The only renewable energy source that's on national grid happens to be our dam. And in fact, if, if we're subjected to further interrogation, I don't think Nigeria officially recognizes the, our hydropower dams as renewable energy sources. So 
Um, yeah, we have pockets of uh, locations that have good power supplies as we speak, but no, we are nowhere near meeting our energy demand, energy needs in Nigeria. And um, uh, I would say that, yes, we need a lot of work. We have a lot of work to do um, with our power sector policy. So listen to what he's saying, you know. Ghana wants to give Nigeria light. That does not mean that we are saying we are going to supply the whole of Nigeria. Listen, if we decide, Ghana decides to give Nigeria, let's say, 500 megawatts of power, that is well enough to power a lot of household, a huge area. 500 megawatts is not something small. We have excess of 1,000. We are already giving 100 to other neighboring countries. And we have decided that we, we want to give Nigeria power because we have excess of 1,000. We can decide to give Nigeria like 500. So what is this? I don't know whether you heard the proverb that he used. If you stay in a bad situation for a very long time, all sort of bad things. So Ghana giving Nigeria light is a bad thing. Or because the light is coming from Ghana. You know, one thing that I think is the pride. And I know definitely they will never accept something like this from Ghana because they know when it comes to social media, they will, they will take it, they will receive it like hot, 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 hot from every Ghanaian. So this is one thing that they don't want to do what accept. But the fact is you need a thing. At least, if we are to give you the 500 megawatts or sell that to you, it will do a lot. At least people who are not having the 24-hour electricity will at least get that 24-hour electricity and also their businesses basically will also move on and it will better the economy of Nigeria. So why? You see, when he was speaking, the pride... He can't even lower his pride. It's preposterous. Like Ghana give me a lot. It's over ambitious. We are not saying we are going to power the whole of your country. Ah, oh, God. Africans, why do we do these things to ourselves? Other people have accepted. Cote d'Ivoire has accepted. Burkina Faso has accepted. Benin and Togo, they have accepted. And we are giving them. This is business. This is not something that we, we are going to. Definitely, Ghanaians, when they hear something like this, they are going to like give it to Nigerians on social media. That one is a fact. Yes, but let's look beyond that. You understand? Let's look beyond that. What is the problem if Ghana is giving Nigeria power? If Ghana is giving Nigeria power, what is wrong with that? What is the problem? Lower your pride, man. Lower your pride. Like The pride is too much. Listening to him, you could hear that he's, he's saying they need they have problems, they, they need a light. A minister, like the Minister of Energy has promised to give them 20,000 megawatts within three years. 20,000 megawatts within three years. You know politicians, it is easy for them to say whatever, but implementing it or taking action or doing the thing is, is the problem. So you prefer you being in this situation. Imagine we are giving you 500. Another country is also giving you like 1,000. Another country is giving you 500, 100. At least you will be getting somewhere. But are you telling us that what the Ghanaian came to say in that summit is over ambitious? Man, my people, no, 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 no. Lower that pride, lower that pride, lower that pride. It is nothing. It is nothing. It is actually going to help rather. So lower that pride. Thank you so much for watching.